Greetings, beautiful people. I hope you all are doing great. A warm welcome to you to Nanabe's Kitchen. So today I'm bringing you homemade zomi. I just really want to show you how easy it is to make this very, very flavorful nutty palm oil. You're going to get the oil as well as the base. So basically I'm bringing you the real deal. Let's start. I have the palm fruit, which has been prepared by boiling and pounding and extracting the fruit. Um, this was done by Chloe B. And it was sent to me here uh, in the diaspora. I live in the United States. So I am going to remove it from the Ziploc bag. And to extract the cream, I'm going to use some hot water I boiled in the kettle. So that's going in right now. And you need to use hot water. Actually, go in with hot water first. It makes for easier extraction. Let it sit maybe, or you can add some cold water in order for you to be able to go in with your hand easily. Now this, I'm going to um, extract the palm fruit just once with the water. I'm not going to do any rinsing. However, I'm not going to throw the chaff away because there's still fruit in there I can use to make my palm not soup. So then after straining, it goes onto the stove on low heat. That's key. I added some salt to it, friends, because Zomi, the base of it is seasoned. And I'm going to cook and stir periodically and on low heat throughout. And as you can see, the oil is already separating and the cream is also reducing you're going to do this until the cream becomes completely dehydrated you want to keep the oil in there because it gets that nutty flavor as the base reduces and dehydrates now I had some palm oil I had extracted from when I made palm nut soup previously so i just went ahead and added the oil and that's basically what i'm doing right now just to give the oil i get from this preparation a little more volume so you see the base is changing now this is a collaborative video between nanabe's kitchen and bezalia garden food kindly watch her video because you'll learn how to use the palm cream from the can which we all have easier access to any african store close by you carries it all right friends so you see the bottom is starting to dehydrate and it's starting to even turn color into that nutty uh blackish color so much flavor friends so yes i'm going to continue cooking and like i said you have to keep the oil in the pan with the base because the oil itself needs to also gain from that nutty flavor so do not separate the oil just yet after five hours of cooking on very low heat and stirring periodically like every 30 minutes here is what we have see the base is even looking like shito it's completely dehydrated and it's full of zumi flavor friends this is authentic zumi and this is how to make it now you can let it cool down and then you can separate the oil and the oil should have more of a brownish color than a red color so engopa is made quite differently and you get a more reddish color to the engopa because the engopa preparation uses the boiling method as if you were making palm nut soup, whereas the zomi uses the frying method so that you end up with a nutty flavor in both the oil and the dehydrated base right there. And this is what we don't have access to, especially in the diaspora when we buy zomi from the store. One of the big reasons why you'll benefit from using this recipe as well as the one shared on Bezalia Garden Foods channel. This on your yokegari, ah! friends hands down deliciousness and that video will be bringing to you pretty soon so I have separated the oil and now I'm also separating the base the true zomi base right there this stuff is literally gold friends it is so purely delicious on especially your yokagari and other dishes so we paired it as we traditionally would on some yokagari some black-eyed beans 
oh man it went down really well friends so finish watching this video and head over to busily i got him food you will learn from her method as well i have linked her video in my description box thanks for watching make it a great day and have fun especially in that thank kitchen. you beautiful person for watching the video all the way to the end kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in anabas kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here <laughs>